Previously on Hulk, Bruce Banner has somehow manages to attain a new level of control over his inner demon Hulk. He utilizes him like a starship from within his mind by throwing dangerous mental projections of the Hulk's oldest friends and enemies. Banner fuels the starship with Hulk's anger. Banner then captures Tony Stark's greatest invention, the Celestial Armor Portal, and by using that device, he goes into an unstable pocket dimension, where he lands into an alternate reality, where he meets with an another version of Bruce Banner. After exchanging some words, Dr. Banner reveals that, in his reality, he never became the Hulk, and rather than the heroes, this reality has full of abominations who are the victims of the radiation from the gamma bomb explosion. And this was Bruce Banner started that experiment under the command of his father-in-law, President Ross, who then used to establish the United States as the undisputed global superpowers. For the safety of the humankind and for the goods of the United States, President Ross kills the entire X-Men members, including Tony Stark, by nuking them with his Gamma Bomb. Now to add on for his past sin for creating the Gamma Bomb, Dr. Banner wants to study the Starship Hulk in order to find a cure and use that to revert back this world's abominations to their normal self. But before the two Banners can come to an agreement, President Ross attacks them with his army of military soldiers. To confront them, Bruce quickly sets the threat to second level inside his mind and starts to demolish all of Ross's army one by one. Realizing Hulk's true power, Ross then releases a gamma-radiated Peter Parker, who is now ready to confront the Starship Hulk. Welcome to Comics Tube YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review the Chapter 5 of Hulk. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by a suspected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up with a brutalized Dr. Banner, who held captive at President Ross's lair, and Ross ruthlessly interrogates him to know how Dr. Banner controls the Starship Hulk because he wants to kill that monster and end his existence. Ross then brutally starts to beat Banner left and right to make him talk about the Starship Hulk. But then Dr. Banner begs Ross to stop and he tells him the Starship Hulk is just like him and when he is angry, no world can stop the monster that lies inside him. In the battlefield, the two monsters engage themselves in a bloody fight and inside in Banner's mind, Hulk is still fighting with the Marvel Zombies to fuel up the Starship Hulk against the Spider Hulk. But as Banner tries to increase the threat level inside his mind, a projection of Betty Banner appears and wants Bruce to stop his doing because she fears that if Bruce keeps the pressure on Hulk by sending a dangerous levels of opponents to fight, he might lose control of Hulk and because of that, he may turn into something else that they can't imagine. But Bruce simply ignores her warning and sets the threat level to 5 and inside in his mind, the Marvel Zombies suddenly disappear and right in front of Hulk's eyes, Thor and the entire god members of Marvel Universe appears, which gives the Hulk more power to beat the Spider Hulk. Back at the Ross's lair, the tied-up Dr. Banner begs to Ross to stop this madness. He just wanted to help those victims who got affected by their experiment. He thought he could find a way to cure them, but this Starship Hulk is different and Ross is just making it worse by attacking him. 
but then Ross shuts him up and orders the soldiers to leave the room. And then he let Dr. Banner know that he appreciates that Banner tries to cure them to attain their normal self. But the truth is, he tosses the weak ones into the portal and keeps the strongest ones for their own needs. And with the help of Reed Richards, he forces those strong abominations to work under him. Back on the battlefield, after getting beaten up by Hulk, Peter reverts back to his normal self and begs Hulk to stop because he don't want to fight with Hulk anymore. But just as he looks up in the sky, he sees Ross has tossed some giant bombs towards them and inside Hulk's mind, Bruce thinks he has won the battle against Spider Hulk but right at that time, the control room starts to collapse. Outside in the battlefield, from those giant bomb containers, an entire army of Ross's abomination creatures shows up, who once used to be people after the gamma radiation hits them. And inside Hulk's mind, Bruce starts to lose control over himself and his grip on this reality. And then he watches helplessly as a mental projection of Betty Banner takes control over the Hulk and releases a threat level to stage 6. And inside the engine room, Hulk gets confronted by all of the demons of Marvel Universe. But as Bruce is getting worried for the Hulk, Betty grabs Bruce's hand and throws him into an endless void. And she sets the threat level to stage 9. As a result, the Starship Hulk then unleashes its new optic blast, similar to Cyclops' power, to ultimately defeat those abomination creatures. And as Hulk gains the power of Cyclops, the Chapter 5 of Hulk comes to a close. Which part you like the most? Please share your thoughts on the comment section down below. And also, please subscribe as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.